नमस्कार हार्टी वेलकम टू ऑल नॉलेज सीकर्स टू माय चैनल दिस इज डॉक्टर मधुसूदन राव कड़पा इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ए क्यूइंग सिस्टम हियर वी कैन सी ए सिस्टम ए सर्विस मैकेनिज्म विथ थ्री सर्वर्स एंड द कस्टमर्स आर अराइविंग लाइक दिस those who got satisfied with the service or who service is complete the service the customers leaving the queuing system like this and some of the discouraged customers leaving the system without uh, getting the service now here we have to understand the total process here we have a few characteristics of uh, which are uh, which we observe in many of the queuing models first one is uh, the input process input process means it indicates how the way in which the customers enter into the queuing system if you observe in any queuing system the arrival time that means the inter arrival time the time lag between arrival of two successive customers may not be constant the first customer may arrive at clock time 0 say the second customer may arrive after 3 minutes third customer may not take exactly 3 minutes he may arrive within next 2 minutes next customer may be immediate and the other customer may take somewhat 5 or 6 minutes so the inter arrival time between the customers may not be same customers may randomly enter into the queuing system you can imagine any queuing system for that matter now the input process the way in which the customers enter into the queuing system will follow some probability distribution coming to the uh, state the input process may be stationary or transient in some cases we may observe the stationary state in some cases it may be transient in some queue uh, queuing mechan i mean uh, systems we may observe both of these now let us uh, see what is this stationary and transient state stationary means if the arrival pattern of the customers does not change with the time that means if it is time independent so suppose uh, a queuing system operates between 10 am to 5 pm say uh, initially initially few customers will enter because they know that the system will start only from 10 o'clock so by 9 o'clock you may not find a customer there unless somebody might have arrived earlier so initially the customers pooling will be more because uh, the service will not be provided as soon as uh, they start the service mechanism there will be pooling of the customers into the system and thereafter what happens slowly as the uh, service facility starts operating or providing service one by one these customers will be taken and uh, their services will be completed and definitely there will be a peak time at which there will be more number of customers in the system and uh, as you see uh, before lunch or post lunch only few customers will be there because a new customer who wants to go to a particular queuing system he will decide whether to go or not because uh, there is very less time say by 4 o'clock say if it is a bank which will operate up to 4 or 4:30 or 5 by 4 o'clock the new entry of customers will be very less so like that if the arrival pattern of the customers into the queuing system is a time independent then it is a stationary if it is time dependent it is transient that means as we uh, now as we seen uh, the customers entering into a bank or any other service facility at the peak hours it is state independent 
during uh, the opening time, lunch break and closing time, then it is transient because the arrival of customers will be very less. It, it is time dependent. Next, coming to the customer's reaction, how the customers will behave or react in a queuing system. We can observe these three kinds of reactions. One is barking, second one is reneasing, and third one is jockeying. First, let us see what is this barking. In some cases, a new customer who wants to enter into the queuing system will just look into the length of the queue and just by looking at the length, he decide not to enter into the queue because he know that he has to spend a lot of time waiting in that queue until his service is uh, done or sometimes it may be closed before getting the service. So the customer decides not to enter into the queuing system just by looking at the length of the queue when length is very large then such a behavior is called barking. Releasing means some customers they may enter the queuing system and wait for some time or may wait for somewhat longer time also but without getting the service after some time they may lose patience or maybe due to some other reasons they may leave the queuing system without getting the service. This phenomenon is called reneasing and the third one is jockeying. Suppose a service facility provides uh, I mean uh, parallel counters like in railway stations or uh, some other places where there will be parallel counters all the counters are capable of providing any type of service in such case a customer maybe the queue lengths may be different say uh, this is the service window like this now a new customer who wants to enter into the system he will definitely prefer the one which is shorter to enter into this particular line maybe due to some reason or the other the service rate for this particular facility is less and this queue even though it is longer may be quickly served and suppose as this queue length becomes to this extent this one may be of this extent, shorter than this. Then the customer who entered here may try to jump to the other line. So the phenomena of jumping between different uh, queue lines where there are uh, multi servers which provide the same kind of service, this phenomena is called jockey. So naturally we observe this kind of phenomena uh, by some people in uh, railway stations and some other places where there are multiple servers. So that is about the customer's reaction. Next coming to the second one, the queue discipline. Queue discipline means when customers arrive into a queuing system, okay, we have discussed during the, as we discussed in input process, they may follow some probability distribution and uh, customers will be entering into the queuing system. Now how the customers are provided service, the way in which the customers are taken to provide the service. Here we have a few types like FCFS means first come, first serve. That means whoever enters the system first will be taken first for service and next and so on. In the order in which the customers will be provided service, in the order in which they enter into the queuing system, then it is FCFS, first come, first served model or otherwise called first in first out. Then another discipline is LIFO, last in first out. That means the one which enters last will be provided service first. Naturally with human beings it may not be possible because they may not accept. For example if you take a heap of components say these components once processed on a particular machine will move to the next machine say then another process will be carried out on those components on that machine. Now the one last 
processed last on the preceding machine will reach to the next machine first because it is at the top. So it will be processed. What happens then? The one at the bottom is first processed on the preceding machine and the one last which is kept at last that means at the top is processed last on the previous machine. But while taking for service on the next machine he will not take from the bottom take the components from the bottom. So if it is a container he will pick the next component from top so naturally the one at the top has been processed last on the first machine. So the last one is first on the next machine that is last in first out. Then service in random order. For example if you take uh, uh, a number of aspirants uh, in an interview say they might have arrived at different times but here the way in which the interviewer will call them may not depend on the time at which they arrived. They may have some uh, criteria on which they will call the people for interview. In such case they may call the people based on maybe merit or some other factor. So in such case it is service in random order. Then the other discipline is FSR, fastest server rule. In multi server models where there will be multiple service facilities providing same kind of service, there will be some person who will, who will be guiding the new customers who enter the queuing system to uh, enter into a line where the service rate is large that means the server is capable of serving more number of people in a short time in a short lead time so that is fastest server rule next there is another discipline called prioritative discipline here we have uh, two such types preemptive priority and non preemptive priority here uh, we will come across this case uh, in case of banks where uh, customers with uh, priority banks as well as in hospitals. Suppose uh, if we take the case of a hospital where there will be a number of patients waiting to get consultation from the doctors. So naturally uh, as they issue tokens they will call one by one uh, maybe following first in first, first out. But suppose if a new patient arrives who has an emergency say maybe an accident case or maybe some other medical emergency is there then definitely the doctor will de attend the one who even though he arrived last he will arrive, he will serve first that patient for he, for whom there is medical emergency he will uh, stop the queue and he will give first preference to such patient that is preemptive priority that means giving a giving priority to an important customer than the others is called preemptive priority. Non preemptive means just opposite. A more important customer will be given last priority and uh, all other customers will be first served and then they will spend more time with these uh, uh, important customers. For example, if you want to deposit one crore or uh, some huge going for some huge loan in a bank, then definitely there may be so many customers he may not ask you the manager or the teller may not ask you to stand in the queue he will simply make you to sit somewhere he will complete the service to all the customers who have come for deposits and withdrawals and then slowly he will spend time with you so it is a non preemptive priority case so that's how the queue discipline that means the way in which the customers are selected for service will depend and coming to the service channels Depending on the number of servers, it may be a single server, if it is so the corresponding model is called a single server model or in uh, some cases there may be multiple servers which may be providing the same kind of service then it is a multi server model. Similarly the service may or may not be completed in one stage, in one step. In such case the customer has to pass through several such service providers one by one. So until the customer completes his service at these three counters 
his service is incomplete. In such case, it is a series model. For example, uh, on a buffet dinner, say, we'll be standing in the queue, having our plates in hand, and uh, we will move to different uh, servers. They will serve different food items like that. So uh, on machines also, a product which enters the first machine completes its processing, and then goes to the second machine, and then goes goes to the third machine where the finished product will come out. So in such case, it is a series model, or if, like uh, booking counters where uh, number of counters are there, all the counters can provide the same kind of service. Then it is a parallel uh, queuing model. I mean parallel channel. Next, the service mechanism. The service mechanism means the way how the service is provided to the customers. Here, the rate at which the servers provide service to the customers may be state dependent or state independent. Suppose in some cases it may take a fixed amount of time for a server to provide service to the customer. Then, irrespective of the length of the queue, because the process is such that it takes a definite amount of time to provide service because it may not be, uh, I mean, uh, cannot be done quickly or slowly. It, it requires a definite amount of time. In such case, the queue length may increase or decrease depending on the number of customers entering into the queue and the number of customers whose service is completed leaving the queue. In, in such case, it is a state independent mechanism that means irrespective of the state state means the number of customers in the system state dependent means in some cases the servers work quickly that means their rate of uh, service completion will be quick and uh, when the number of customers are more they will work quickly and when the number of customers in the system are less they will work somewhat slowly so depending on the state of the queue they will uh, the rate of service providing i mean uh, the service rate will change if it is the case then it is state dependent if the service rate is independent of the state then it is state independent uh, mechanism then coming to the capacity of the system the system which is providing a typical service may may be having a limited space or unlimited space to accommodate the number of customers. For example, in some systems, like uh, nowadays, uh, the automobile uh, service companies, what they are doing, they are simply asking the customers to uh, book their uh, servicing a day or two days before in advance. So they will take only 40 or 50 vehicles for servicing a day. That is, that means the capacity of the system is limited to 40 or 50 vehicles a day and they will see that all the vehicles, those which enter in the morning, uh, the service of all those vehicles will be completed by the end of the day. Maybe one or two vehicles may remain because uh, there may be a non-availability of spares or some other problem. Otherwise, all the vehicles which enter in the morning for servicing will be completed by the end of the day. In such case, it is a limited capacity queuing system. If there is no limit or no bar on the arrival of customers into the system, it is unlimited capacity of the system. So these are the characteristics which are very important while uh, solving problems as well as while developing models uh, to solve queuing problems. Thank you very much. In some other video, I will explain about uh, the process in which the customers will enter and uh, the service is provided. And there is a model called birth and death process. I'll explain it in the next video. Thank you very much.